for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our video series on working with table-based layouts inside of Dreamweaver CS5. In our last video, we began by creating this layout here that has a background table as well as some embedded one-by-one -one fixed width tables into each one of the cells. And I want to continue by enhancing this layout a little bit. And the first thing I want to do is work on this content area here. Now, the content area, I want to um, have a specific layout. I want to be able to have a left-hand navigation area for the page in this area right over here. And then the right-hand area, which will take up the bulk of the content area, I want to have three distinct areas inside of. I want it to have a header area where I can put the title of the information, a content area where I can put the content for the page, and then a footer where I can put various uh, pieces of information uh, like footnotes or maybe some sharing tools, things like that. So I want to change the way this middle area is laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the content that um, has been placed in here. And I'm also going to remove the padding that we placed on this table and the returns that I typed in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete um, that. And then I'm going to right click and select my table. You'll see it grabs it there. And I'm going to change the padding back to zero. You really only want to put padding or spacing on when you know you have an intent for it. Um, so get rid of that. Now I'm going to click inside of that cell. And the first table that I'm going to insert here is going to have room for the left hand navigation column and then the main content area. So I'm going to come to the insert menu and I'm going to go ahead and select table. And this table is going to have one row and two columns. And I want to space it out a little bit, not too much. So I'm going to put 20 pixels of spacing on this table. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and just manually adjust this over so that I've got room for my navigation here and then I've got room for my um, content over here. Now I said in this content area I actually want room for a heading, the content, and then a footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again click in that area and I'm going to go to insert table and I'm going to insert a table that's three rows and one column and is a hundred percent. I think I forgot to do that in my other table. And I want the spacing again, um, actually I want the spacing to be zero here and I'm going to put some padding on here. No, you know, we'll do it, we'll do it consistently. We'll put some spacing on there. I'm going to click OK. And now I have that area right over here. So I can go ahead and type navigation here. And then I can come over here and type heading. And this is where my content will go. And this is where my footer will go. And remember our alignment properties. This is always going to be aligned to the center by default. So what I need to do is I actually need to click in both of the, or select both of these cells here and change the alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click in this table and select it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to edit cut just to remove it. And now I'm going to select both of those cells and I'm going to change the alignment to left and top. Then I'll click in that cell, go to edit paste one more time, put it back in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change the properties of this to left and top. Just like that. 
And I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Live View here. And you'll see the way this layout is going to look. You'll also notice that the heading here is at a different level than the navigation area. And that's because of the difference in the spacing. We embedded a table in here that has some spacing. So what I might want to do is I might want to highlight that and just delete it and then insert a one by one table there. hundred percent of the area and we'll put the 20 spacing on there again and then we'll paste in whoops we'll type in navigation area and you can kind of imagine you know link 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 and those would obviously also be in a list format now when I go into live view, you can sort of see, up oh, they're still not even, but you can play around with the spacing on here. This is a lot easier to do with divs. And in another series of videos, we'll show you how to lay out pages like this with divs as opposed to tables. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.